It may not look it, but this is the forerunner of the great British fire engine as we know it today. Made by Austin, like the taxi, this is a K2 truck chassis, powered by a six-cylinder, 28-horsepower overhead valve engine. Unlike the taxi, this engine had more than adequate pulling power to tow a pump and a full fire crew around London. Right, into the back of the K2 we go. And these marvellous bench seats. There we are, look at that. Plenty of room for fire equipment. And plenty of room for firemen. And unlike the taxi, a shrapnel proof roof. Keeping your crew protected inside was a major improvement, just as they are today. And crucially, Austin was able to churn out large numbers of these trucks quickly. Thanks to the simple idea of taking an existing general purpose chassis and giving 5,000 of them firefighting bodywork. Of course, with these machines, everything is heavy duty, everything is massive and built to last. And it's that familiar sound of the whine of the gearbox. There it is, the cogs turning, you can hear it all. Very, very distinctive, with the rustle of the six-cylinder engine and a rather ambitious speedo clocked up to 80. Absolutely brilliant. In September 1940, all hell broke loose as German bombers dropped thousands of tons of explosives and incendiary bombs on British cities. This was Britain's fire brigade's finest hour and a turning point. The foundations for the highly modern service we see today were set in the flames of the Blitz. During the Blitz, two million British homes were destroyed, 90,000 civilians were injured and 60,000 killed. A great many more homes and lives would have been lost had it not been for the grimy-faced angels of the fire services and their great British machines.